We're here looking at the chemistry behind the Winter Olympic Games and the materials that support the athletes in their amazing feats. So here are a list of events and pause so that you can read them more carefully and indeed other slides. And it's all about ice, which if we're looking at water with a bond angle of 104 degrees and a polarity uh, with delta plus on the hydrogen, delta minus on oxygen. Uh, and that link uh, spreads the water molecules apart in solid ice, so it's less dense than water. And here we have the mascots of the Pyeongchang South Korean Games. And snow, of course, is again solid water and hexagonal crystals. We're going to be looking at plastics, metals, uh, hydrocarbons and composites. Uh, the polymers, long chains, which give the chemicals specific properties. Uh, here we're looking at uh, polythene with its monomer and its repeating unit. Here's a list of the polymers involved in the Winter Olympics. Again, pause to read them carefully. Kevlar with its amide link, which is similar to the peptide bond in proteins. Bisphenol A, which is the matrix in fiberglass with the glass fiber. And uh, polyester in parts of snowboard nylon, uh, parts of boots, clothing, and then polycarbonate, particularly for visors and um, the see-through part of goggles. Uh, PTFE, uh, reducing friction, and um, different composites that we'll look at that are make strong materials. Flames, the torch is uh, the uh, propane and then the Olympic torch throughout the games, uh, propane and butane mix. We will look at materials made of metals with the sea of electrons that gives them the metallic uh, properties, alloys which the mixture makes them stronger and better. The gold is in fact a silver metal with six grams of gold over the top, um, silver uh, and bronze with their constituents as well. Gold will be gold plated and here's a set of the uh, electrochemistry here um, where gold is deposited on the metal and here's the electrode equations. Um, and importantly used on uh, the sides of uh, snowboards. And so just so you get an uh, idea of where Huang Chang is in the in the world in South Korea you can see on the map here and then look at where the different resorts are uh, within the region of Huang Chang and so looking at skating list of the different events uh, similar um, uh, chemistry but different designs for uh, the skates for each of the different events And uh, for the figure skating, double-sided blades, which enable incredible people to do amazing things with them. Uh, ice dance. Uh, go on to the speed skate skating. You can see the split blade there. Uh, more speed skating here. And then with the ice hockey, you've got uh, carbon reinforced plastics on the, on the boots. Uh, hockey helmets again with the polycarbonate visor. Uh, you've got vulcanized rubber, a latex polymer, natural polymer, and uh, sticks which are either fiberglass originally in wood. Uh, and here's more details about the ice dance figure skating uh, blades. And with speed skating again. Uh, looking at skis, here's a list of each of the skiing events and we're looking at materials, um, again Kevlar, carbon fibre, uh, the Alpensia Resort, a nice picture at night time there, uh, during the day where the slalom, slalom and giant slalom uh, actually take place and here's looking at 
polyurethane plastic core uh, skis, um, the alpine skiing events, and the freestyle uh, with slightly narrower skis, um, same material. Uh, Cross-country skiing, again, slightly different design for the, uh, for the skis. Here's the equipment, which you can pause just to look in more detail. And um, the clothing as well is going to have its own specific um, chemistry. Biathlon, here are the equipment requirements and just an uh, image of the shooting part of uh, the biathlon. Uh, the ski jump with the um, dimensions of, of the hill and the equipment uh, requirements, very long broad skis uh, and uh, actually gliding uh, with a little bit of the uh, physics behind. Uh, and here we have uh, snowboarding list of the events again to look at and uh, we've got freestyle and uh, slope sides um, and here is the breakdown of the different components to pause and to look at what's there with the fiberglass uh, where you have a matrix and a, uh, of, of resin polycarbonate goggles all the way through here um, for strength and then we go to the sled events, bobsleigh, luge and skeleton. Start off with luge, again carbon fibre or uh, Kevlar body, uh, again very strong and uh, here are the uh, equipment components of the sled and a picture from um, the last Winter Olympics um, for the luge and the start of the luge. The skeleton and uh, you're going to have uh, steel runners and again a plastic reinforced um, sled top to it and a list of the equipment required for that. The bobsleigh uh, uh, with different numbers of competitors inside again carbon fibre uh, and let's look at concrete as a composite with aggregate and matrix of cement. Then go on to curling um, on ice and here's an equipment list of what's required special type of ice, pebbled ice with um, uh, frozen water droplets in it, a 19.1 kilogram uh, a curling stone Granite, uh, main component is um, silicon dioxide, uh, SiO2, and a lot of them, 60 plus percent, come from an island off the west coast of Scotland. Um, the curling brush to smooth and uh, help the curling stone on its way. So we have to celebrate uh, the chemists and engineers and indeed the athletes uh, who do their amazing things. Go chemistry.